Hey, Ronnie. Hey, Luke. Hey, I was just noticing something about you. Yeah. You're old. Man, if you're just noticing. You had me Ooh. fooled up until this moment. <laughs> sure, you're old, but are you happy? And, and I ask this question myself. How can you make sure that you grow happier as you grow older? Hmm. Get more dogs. Okay, that might be one way of doing it. <laughs> Drink more beer is another. Yeah. Uh, but we're going to give you a list of some ways to make sure you're going to be happier as you begin to accumulate more and more years on the next Men Are So Smart. Hello, good morning. Welcome to our show. This is Men Are So Smart. I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. You know, there are steps that you can take to increase your chances of happiness down the line. Ooh, I'm listening. Large decisions, like getting a new job, can improve your long-term happiness. Smaller habit changes, such as volunteering or scheduling a call with your parents, can have similar impacts as well. So we bring you today some ways to improve your long-term happiness. Ronnie, what's up first? So, if you find yourself feeling lousy a lot, it might be your job. Uh, while a bad day or week on the job is normal, a hostile work environment can lead to depression. Uh, it's one of the biggest regrets dying people have about life, is mm -hmm. choosing the wrong profession or hating their job. Uh, if you find yourself constantly thinking about your job, having difficulty getting out of bed, and even becoming physically ill, it might be time to quit your job and find something that will lead to more happiness. What if you're never happy? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? There are some people that are, they can't be. Yeah. They could have the, they could hit the lottery. Right. And they would moan and groan about the taxes. And counting the money. Yes. Yeah, count all that money every day. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Next up is spend more time with your family. Another top regret dying people have is not spending enough time with family and friends. Studies back up the importance of having strong familial ties to long-term happiness. Around 93% of men who experienced happiness later in life had good relationships with a brother or sister, according to a study that tracked the lives of 268 men for 72 years. Damn. Did one person do all of that research? Wow. Uh, if you're struggling to balance your time, the act of scheduling blocks where you can just focus on your family can make you less stressed and happier, time management experts say. All right, this next one, I can personally attest to this one. Uh, try to settle down in a place close to where you work. Mm -hmm. Um a shorter drive to work can make you happier, according to a study. Uh, it looked at 26,000 employee commutes over five years. Researchers found every extra minute you spend commuting reduces job satisfa uh, satisfaction and worsens your mental health. Uh, in fact, adding 20 minutes to your commute per day has the same effect on your job satisf uh, satisfaction as receiving a 19% pay cut. Holy cow. Uh, to increase your future happiness, try moving somewhere you know will be close to where you work. My home is three and a half miles door to door to my job. I can make it, I've made it in four minutes. At five o'clock in the morning, if, yeah, I hit no the, lights. if I hit the lights just right, four minutes door to door. Wow. Coming home, there's always traffic. And it might take me nine minutes to get home. So by most standards, I'm living large. Well, my commute is 26.2 miles each way. Yep. And I can tell you that in the morning, it usually takes me about 35 minutes. And in the afternoon, in the five o'clock hour, it takes me 50. Oh, man. Yeah. All in traffic, mostly bumper to bumper. Yep. I and hate. I just, I refuse to stress out about it. I, I've got enough stress at work as it is. Yep. Not going to let somebody screw that up. 
So some ways to make sure you grow happier as you grow older, help others by volunteering. In a 2013 review of 40 studies done in the last two decades, and we don't make this up, these statistics. Yeah. It sounds like they did, though. <laughs> Researchers find volunteering can make you happier and can even prolong your life. People who volunteer say not only does it improve their mood, it helps them manage chronic illness and lowers stress. Hmm. Finally, a 2017 study found when people help others, it activates regions in the brain that make you happy. So my last blog that I wrote was exactly this about volunteering. And I volunteer at least one day a week at uh, an animal shelter. And I train and walk and groom dogs and stuff. I don't, I don't work with cats. Nothing wrong with cats. I like cats. We have a cat. But I'm really just more of a dog person. And I've been doing it for just over a year. It feels amazing to go help dogs um, I and help them get adopted. Yes, um, that's my biggest thing. Is I love going in. I usually go in on Tuesdays. I love going in on one Tuesday. The following Tuesday, I go in, and if all those dogs that I've worked with and trained are, have been adopted, my heart seems to grow just a little bit every Three time. Three sizes too large. <laughs> yeah, and it isn't. An, it's an amazing feeling, and the dogs that are there. Uh, I try to pick the ones that look the most stressed in their kennels. Uh, some dogs don't do well outside and away from their people. Some of these dogs have been inside dogs forever and now they're half inside and half outside. Super stressful for them. Sometimes I'll just go in there and sit with them and talk to them and brush them and pet them uh, until I took a picture one time, uh, I'll try to send it to you, maybe you can put it on the website, of this lab and labs are notoriously people dogs. Oh yeah. They're Velcro. They don't let you get too far away from them. They want to be by their people. This lab was so withdrawn, curled up in a corner, shaking. I went in there, took about a half an hour, and when I took this picture, he's got the biggest smile on his face. And it's just, boy, it, it makes me feel good. All right, next up, Keep in touch with your friends. Uh, maintaining friendships could be the key to a longer, happier life. In an Australian longitudinal study of aging, researchers found people with more friends outlive those with the fewest by 22%. Wow, that's amazing. It's no wonder one of the biggest regrets dying people have is not keeping in touch with their friends. Uh, while your friend group tends to shrink as you get older, they die, uh, you can bolster your social network by visiting uh, the same places frequently, also known as become a regular. Like Cheers. Norm! Sammy! Yeah. As a matter of fact, Sam. <laughs> uh, practice gratitude. You want to be happier? Practice gratitude. Focusing on what you have instead of what you lack leaves you feeling more satisfied in the long run. A UC Davis uh, study, they're very close to us, asked volunteers to keep a weekly record of things they were grateful for. In 10 weeks, they reported feeling more optimistic about their lives and even felt physically healthier. Practicing gratitude can even make you more successful. Business Insider found highly successful individuals like Orkra, I'm sorry, Oprah, uh, Winifred, and Richard Branson all take a few minutes of time to focus on what they are thankful for, hmm. which would be money, I would think. <laughs> At least in those two cases. Yeah. Definitely. They left out uh, Warren Buffett. That's Jimmy Buffett's brother, right? <laughs> yes, yeah, his richer, older brother. Yep. Not by much, though. No, they're both pretty, uh, both pretty uh, age equal. Uh, this next one is making small talk. Oh, I hate small talk. You know what? I, I, it has a place for me. Uh, being friendly makes you happier. A 2014 study found people who made small talk with their uh, barista left happier than those who stayed silent. I gotta get me a barista then. <laughs> they instructed participants to make brief but genuine conversation while smiling and making eye contact. 
uh, taking just a few minutes to talk to the barista left study subjects feeling happier than those who didn't. Humans are designed to have social interaction. Um, these interactions are incredibly important for our overall well-being and even the smallest ones can make a difference. I think I told you this story, uh, I went to Togo's the other day, yeah. and the sandwich artist that I had was obviously very new. Um, and he was not having his best day when he made my sandwich. It looked like a hot mess, but he was getting a lot of heat from his, probably his boss, or could even be the owner of the, the sandwich place. And so, as he put my hot mess in a to-go bag, I told him, that looks delicious. Thank you very much, you did a great job. And you know what? His shoulders kind of perked up. He got a little bit brighter. And as I left, I drove home thinking, you know what? He can probably make it the rest of the day uh, because he was getting so much heat from this lady uh had it been me i don't i wouldn't put up with all that he obviously needed the job more than i than i do so i would just say you know what here's your hot pastrami sit on it so yep and finally today in our list of things that'll make you happier as you grow old exercise often exercising increases endorphins and improves your self-image, both ways to make you happy or happier. In fact, exercising can improve your happiness even more than having money can, according to a study tracking the physical behavior and mental mood of 1.2 million Americans. Strength training and aerobic training are particularly good at decreasing depression, improving long-term heart health, according to a recent research. Uh, so pick up the dumbbells if you want to live a happier and healthier life down the road. Hmm. Um, I think maybe I've mentioned this before, but when I was going through my recovery process, I did not start getting better or feeling better until I began walking every day. Yeah. And you know what? The first time, I, I couldn't even make it around the whole block. And it's yeah. not that big. Um, and, and there were about five stops along the way. But by the end of two weeks, I was going around the block two or three times and feeling a lot better about myself and about my my uh, getting better. So, I, you know, even if it's just walking, yep. it can help you. My, uh, a coworker of mine, a deputy that I work with, had a bulging disc. Oh. Just had surgery last Friday. Mm -hmm. They told him on Saturday... You need to walk one mile. Yep. One mile a day after back surgery. I'd be like, uh, right. I don't think so. But it does help. And uh, I had knee surgery been a couple decades ago now. But they told me the same thing. Walk on it. Uh, they gave me crutches. They said, use them only if you have to. Maybe if it gets sore, you can revert to the crutches. But start your day off with no crutches. It recovered unbelievably quick. I was playing basketball 10 days after knee surgery. So... That really is amazing. There is something to say about being up, being active, and moving. Well, we brought you some ways today that you can grow happier as you grow older. Uh, we appreciate your watching today. Uh, if you have any questions or comments that you'd like to make, we'd love to have you leave them below. Ronnie and I are very good about getting back to you. Uh, one that they didn't mention in this story, uh -huh. if you want to be happy and continue to be happy as you grow older, watch your show. That works. That was, it should have been 10 things. Or should have been nine 10. things, yeah. Yeah, yeah so, so do that. And that should have been number one. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> Just saying. All right, subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you. That way you get notifications each time a new show comes out when you click the bell right next to the subscribe. And uh, it it makes Ronnie extra happy. He gets goosebumps. See? Just well, like that. Uh, that's, I think that's a pimple. Yeah, it looks like it to me. <laughs> I think it's infected. <laughs> well, you need to start walking.
<laughs> I'll take care of it. <laughs> All right, that's going to do it for today. I'm Lou Gallagher. Corvette Ronnie. And this here little show you've been watching is called Men Are So Smart. And thank you for watching.